for every positive integer n, let a sub n be the number of n digit binary strings, that is, strings composed of only zeros and ones. So, for example, two digit binary strings are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, that have an equal number of occurrences of 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0, 0 as substrings. And we wish to add up a sub n from 1 to 12 and find the last three digits of the sum. Before we proceed any further, it is only right that we take this time to recognize Eddie Farbuckle, who was the very first person to post a correct solution to this problem last week. A huge shout out to Eddie Farbuckle. This is a reasonably short problem, but we have to understand the question precisely, otherwise we are not going to go down the right path. So let's start by considering an example. So let's write down something that seems reasonable. So something like that. Given a string, we wish to check whether it has the same number of 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0. So for example, if you look at this, it's going to have 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1s. So there are two of them. On the other hand, it has, here's 1, 1, 0, 0. And here is the other 1, 0, 0. We don't quite have it here. So we have the same number, 2, of 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0. So this string fits our requirement. Before we really dive into how to systematically count the strings that fits the requirement, please allow me to point out something interesting about the string. Look at this 1, 0, 0, 1. If you look at 1, 0, 0, 1, this thing is going to fit the requirement because it has the same number 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1. It has one of each. But I think we can make this more general. We can actually have any number of zeros we want at the center and get the same result because there will be 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0, 1. Even if there is only one zero at the center, it still works because this thing contains 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1s. So it contains the same amount, namely 0. And we don't even have to have any zeros, of course, and it's still going to work. So what this seems to be telling us is that if we have a string like this, so let me rewrite this, we can essentially divide it into the parts that start with a 1 and with a 1 with zeros in between. Notice that putting a few more ones here or here is not going to change the number of 100s or 001s. So we can safely do that. Then we can start with another one and with a one. We can start with a one and with a one. And we know that there will be the same number of 100s and 001s starting with this one, ending with this one, because it's in this form, which we verified. And we can make the same argument that we're going to have the same number of 100s and 001s from this one to this one, and finally from this one to this one. So what this is basically telling us is that from the first one to the last one, we are going to have the same number of 100s and 001s because each component of it contributes the same amount of each. And our example illustrates that. We have this 1001 that contributes 1100 and 1001, and then we have another component contributing 1100 and 1001, and the component 101 contributes 0 of each, so by the end of it, we have 2 of each. So, what's the only way that we are not going to have the same number of 001s and 100s. Where can that discrepancy come from? Well, it can't come from here because everything is in equilibrium, starting with a 1 and ending with a 1. So the only problem that we can have is if we have two or more zeros at one end. Because if we have two zeros here, we are going to have this extra 100. And vice versa, if we have at least two zeros at the left hand, then we are going to have one extra zero zero one breaking the equilibrium. So we conclude that we have what we do not want when there is a zero zero at exactly one end of the string. It can either be at the right end giving one zero zero, or it can be at the left hand giving zero zero one. And this essentially finishes the problem because what is a sub n going to be? Well, there are 2 to the n 
binary strings of n digits long. And from this, we wish to take away the strings that have a 0, 0 at one end and something else at the other end. That something else can be either 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. So there are three choices. Or we can have this reversed. We can have a 0, 0 at one end and have a 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1 at the other end. So there are six cases we want to avoid when it comes to endings. And once we pick the endings, then we have 2 to the n minus 4 ways of filling in the remaining n minus 4 digits. So there are 6 times 2 to the n minus 4 strings that we do not want. So the ones that we want, we can factor out 2 to the n minus 4. When we take out 2 to the n minus 4 from 2 to the n, that leaves 2 to the 4th, and we're taking away 6. 2 to the 4th is 16, minus 6 is 10. So we have gotten a formula for a sub n when n is greater than or equal to 4. Obviously, we should have at least 4 digits for this argument to work because our argument depends on having 2 digits at the left hand and 2 digits at the right hand. Now let's finish the problem. We wish to find the sum of a sub n from 1 to 12. So let's do just that. We know how to sum it up from n equals to 4 to 12, that's simply 2 to the n minus 4 times 10. So to this, we gotta add a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3, but those are easy to find. a sub 1 is going to be 2, a sub 2 is going to be 4, because every single binary string of 1 digit long and 2 digits long are going to count. But for 3 digits long, we gotta do a little bit of thinking. We want to make sure we don't count 100 zero zero and 001, zero zero one. So a sub 3 is 6 because there are 8 3 digit binary strings and we are taking 2 away. How about the summation? We can factor 10 out and inside we are going to have a 2 to the 0 power when n is 4, then 2 to the 1st power, all the way to 2 to the 8th power when n is 12. This is a 2 to the 9th minus 1, that's a famous formula or you can evaluate it using a geometric series. And the 2 to the 9th is 5, 12. So the final answer is 5, 1, 1, 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. So our final answer is 5,122. So let's go back up. So we know our final answer is 5, 1, 1, 2, but we only care about the last three digits. So the final answer actually is one, one, two, and we are done.